Hello everyone. This is a little different from what I usually upload, but I've gotten into this um, kind of phase. Not really a phase, but um, more or less something that I'm interested in as a little hobby or for when I have free time other than playing guitar. Um, and it's uh, beta Minecraft. Beta Minecraft survival. Um, I enjoy the aspect of uh, primitive building in this old version of Minecraft. But uh, I've been I've seen countless world tour videos, and it kind of inspired me to make my own. Uh, and my world isn't that big, but there is a bunch of little nooks and crannies that I do enjoy. Uh, that I would like to share. Uh, so I'll start off here. The first, um, first build that I had, which uh, when I started this world, um, I was over there on that mountain over there, and I saw this kind of little cove area, um, and I thought it was nice. Uh, it looked really nice, just kind of uh, it looked it looked inspiring, is what I mean to say. <clears throat> but uh this is what I built. I'm I'm not too sure what to call it per se. I, I guess you could call it like a courtyard. Um but yeah, this was uh this was it. It wasn't this detail at first. Um it was just stone and the fences. But that's really it. But now it's a little more uh polished. Excuse me. Uh But yeah, uh this is uh little crafting area for when I want to, you know, go in here, do some stuff. I've been playing a little bit, uh, recently. And, um, yeah, so this is the farm, you know. It was kind of like basic necessities, like this was my starting base. Uh, but to make it, make it a little more interesting for myself, I dug a hole and made a little underground bedroom. Nothing too fancy obviously but um yeah no i i enjoy the little lava fountain and the, of course the storage which has not much in it but yeah it's it's a nice little uh area i like it it's um you know so it's, it's that <laughs> but then uh you go over here i made these trails obviously you can see but I like making those trails. They're very nice. They fit pretty much anywhere you put them. Uh, for other areas that aren't completely connected, this is the mining site. I think this is the second addition to this world that I made. Uh, it's not too fancy right now, but um, I saw Dalco um, say how most mines are just boring strip mines, and I could agree with that. Um, I haven't done too much, um, with it, but I wanted to make it a little appealing for myself whenever I go get resources, mainly stone and ores and whatnot. Uh, but it's just mainly building resources. I don't tend to do much ore mining or anything like that, of that such, that such, it made no sense, but anyway, um... So this is the third edition, this big mansion, I guess it's not really a mansion, it's more of like a, I don't know, mead hall, uh, slash lunch area, I'm not really too sure, um, but yeah, this is the outside of it, um, I would say this is probably the longest thing, uh, it took me to make, uh, mainly because of how detailed I say in quotes detailed it is um most of the most of the blocks just took forever to make like the stone blocks those just took a lot of time it was basically just really time consuming it wasn't hard that much but I took some inspiration from other builds that I've seen uh and kind of it's kind of like an entrance to the bigger part of the area so I'll go ahead and give you a little in-depth tour. Uh, so this is the interior, the nice torch chandelier. Um, 
that and you come in here and nice long dinner table for I guess the the quote unquote village to come and eat at. Got some tables here, some stools and tables here. And uh a little a little island, counter island. Again another bench here. And uh your necessities. You go out here, nice front yard, uh some seats. You know, if you want to take a look at the waterfall or if you want to look off into the distance, that's nice too. Um but you go back inside, there's another floor. Um and I haven't done too much with the upper floor. I think right now uh, it's just going to be a storage area. And that's probably what it'll be. Just because it's in the center point of the uh, town that I'm progressing on building. But yeah, it's just a storage area for now. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just was extra room for when I built the roof and I didn't know what to do with it. Um... But yeah, you go out here, painting, nice. You come outside, trail, and I have a little tree arch for the entrance of the trail. And this is going to go up to <clears throat> what I want to be kind of like a court, uh, not a courtyard, but a garden area. So I'm going to have a bunch of bushes and whatnot, maybe. Or I could scrap all of this and flatten it and make a big old castle, uh, which I might do. But that's a pretty... Pretty hefty project. Might save it for later. Come down the hill. Uh, the trail. And uh, a tower. Uh, this is for the archers. To look out. And just be, this is basically just a watchtower for anybody who wants to come and mess with the little town. Um, you know, it's just that kind of imagination you have to put into it. I like giving things, uh, what's the word? I like giving things meaning, like, uh, there's actual stuff to do in new Minecraft, but in old Minecraft you have to, like, kinda, it's very primitive and you have to kinda use your imagination while also executing, you know, building and just being creative as a whole. I don't know, anyway, um, this is the... The lounge, I guess. If you want to take a rest stop here, you can. You're more than welcome. Chest for putting your things in, obviously. Come down these stairs here. Very nice, I think. I like that. It's very basic, but that's it's, it's good. Um, when you over here, you have the dock where you can fish and whatnot. I haven't done any fishing myself, but a nice little area. I like it. I might add some things around this little cove. Uh, it's not too bad. I like it. Obligatory tree tower, you know. Um, a little waterfall like that. Uh, and then you come over here. You have your little beach area. I like it. I like it a lot. You got your umbrella. You were sit under the sun, which is going down. Probably go to sleep uh, whenever that goes down. And then you have the uh, lights for the lake, you know, because I feel like just complete darkness looks a little ominous. So I had to light it up a little bit uh, on the lake here. And, um, yeah, a very small world tour. Um, I don't play enough to where I would say this is like an entire town or anything. It's more just like a little abode, like, you know, there's two places, two or three places you can stay at. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, fountain. This is going to be like the central point of the garden that's going to go here. And I will upload more world updates, but this is just kind of like... I wanted something to start with because there's going to be a lot in this world, I would think. Uh, so this is going to be like, you know, day one, 
<laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, this is kind of like the base plate for where I'm starting. And uh, in the future, it'll be a reference point for looking back on. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, yeah.